today I shall discuss about the next chapter in the analytical solid geometry that is plane and the related formulations in the plane and then problems related to the intersection of the planes problems related to parallel between the two planes even the ratio formula which is to be applied to the planes and angle between two planes. So, all these points I will cover in the today's lecture. First of all let me remind you what we studied till the last class that is a distance formula in solid geometry when we have in the space the two points in the space and we draw a line in the space the distance between those two points was derived as d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. And next we discussed about this one division formula and then in this case division formula a line in the space is divided by the point internally and externally section uh, as a result uh, we named it, named them as section formula or division formula like that. Then direction cosines, direction cosines we discussed uh, the positive direction of any straight line in the three dimensional geometry was measured in the form of the positive angles applied by cosine trigonometric function that is when a straight line uh, is making cos alpha with the x axis, cos beta with the y axis and cos gamma with the z axis then L is equal to cos alpha, M is equal to cos beta and N is equal to cos gamma are named as direction cosines and that is one method of measuring the positive direction of a line in this space. Also another form of uh, measuring the positive direction of a line in the space or direction ratios they are nothing but the values in terms of uh, numericals they are nothing but a b c with small letters a b c. Then the next discussion after understanding the basic knowledge from distance formula, division formula, direction cosines, direction ratios and the angle between two lines as the formula with uh, cosine theta that is cos theta is equal to L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 where two lines are uh, represented by means of the direction cosines. The first line one set of direction cosines as L1 M1 N1 and second line was represented by means of direction cosines as L2 M2 N2. After understanding a few problems on these topics then today I shall discuss about the plane. Uh, the basic definition and the various forms of the planes and then uh, what are the conditions when the set of points which we lie on the plane we call them as the points are said to be coplanar that means all the points are lying on the same plane we call them as they are said to be coplanar like that uh, and then what is the condition that it is one point form of the plane three point form of the plane then we shall go for there are two planes given what is the if they are going to intersect then what is the plane which is intersected uh, plane which is passing through in that if intersected uh, intersection between the given two planes. When two planes are parallel then what is the condition a, a point will be given and then they differ by the constant that constant is to be calculated. Like this uh, three four uh, uh, cases we discuss with, res with reference to calculation of the or analytical formulation of equation of the plane. Then comes angle between two planes then comes a plane which is given as first degree equation because it is uh, represented uh, similar analogous to the equation of the straight line. Equation of the straight line as you know right from the intermediate syllabus which you know even earlier whatever the syllabus you have studied always say a straight line should be represented by means of first degree of x, first degree of y and uh, with the addition of some constant that is nothing but equation of straight line. So it will be continued uh, to attach the meaning of uh, or the basic definition of the plane 
in the same form with one more coordinate because presently we are discussing in three dimensional geometry that was the case with uh, two dimensional uh, situation and this is the case with the three dimensional situation. Then we have to define uh, by the addition of three coordinates in that equation and we will uh, associate that with respect to the surface then we will define it as a mathematical definition of the plane. What is the general equation of the plane? Then different uh, planes are there and their properties. So today I shall study, uh, I shall discuss about this uh, topic in detail. <coughs> First of all let us uh, understand what is the definition of the plane. Uh, in the normal linguistic meaning plane, la, normal linguistic meaning plane means it is a surface. Okay that surface for example any uh, surface if you hold in the space now so any corner which I have been referring always till the end of the discussion in the analytical solid geometry this is supposed to be the space in which now all of us we have assembled in a room this is called a space uh, inside any corner if you observe it is in the right handed screw system all the three lines are mutually perpendicular to each other. Now if I hold the uh, reference region or the this is the surface if I hold in the space this surface what I do here I will represent one point here and the another point here okay on the same surface which I consider that is nothing but in the case of three dimensional geometry this is a reference region I locate two points that means I hold a surface in this space one point here and another point here I represent I join these two points and uh, as you know this straight line for example if I join these two points like P x1 y1 z1 q x2 y2 z2 x2 y2 z2 if you join these two points those two points lay on the same plane means as you know in the plane geometry basically this straight line is a combination of because in my introduction class already I had explained in detail about these things any curve for that matter straight line is a special case of the locus okay any curve is a combination of infinite number of points this uh, straight line is a special case of the curve that means these are the points these are the points that straight line is a combination of infinite number of points what I would like to uh, define when I hold some uh, surface in the space I locate two points on that surface I join these two points then those two points must completely lie on that surface for example like this so if it is lying like this that is not a plane a plane is one when I make a plane is one when I locate when I locate the line like this when I look at the line like this suppose one point on one surface and another point on the another surface when I join this point and one more point on another surface that is not defined to be as a plane. A plane is one in which in which a straight line joining any two points must completely lie on the surface. This is the simple definition and very important definition uh, to define it as a uh, plane. Another uh, uh, statement in wordings an equation which involves one or more of the current coordinates of a variable point in moving space is set to represent a surface which may be either plane or curved of course this will be taken in this shape that is belting okay, degree of inclinedness degree of obliqueness then if it is a straight in, in a straight direction 
that is we call it as plane uh, that is a special case of the locus once again and if I bent it of course like this if I take this shape in that case also the two points which give the combination starting point of that curve which is to be drawn and ending with the another point. So all those points a curve or a straight line completely lie on that surface is called a plane. One more uh, <coughs> a definition an equation which involves one or more of the current coordinates of a variable point in moving space is set to represent a surface which may be either plane or curved okay. After understanding this basic definition the next is what is the mathematical representation to uh, define it as a plane it is nothing but Ax plus By plus Cz plus D equal to 0. This is the most fundamental equation to represent it is an equation of the plane right. Uh, we studied in two dimensional uh, geometry when you studied either in the intermediate class even in the high school level syllabus right. In that case you must have studied for two dimensional case suppose I draw a straight line in two dimensional situation of course only two this is x axis and this is y axis when you draw a straight line then its equation will be represented as Ax plus By plus C is equal to 0 that means that is the case of two dimensional situation Ax plus By plus C is equal to 0 here one more coordinate Cz plus D is equal to 0 this represents three dimensional uh, reference and this represents two dimensional reference this is the fundamental equation of the plane and the next is varieties of uh, definitions we are going to discuss uh, regarding the plane and their properties. Now let me go for the next definition one point form one point form of the plane here uh, uh, this uh, uh, there is a spelling mistake from this should be not a from it is form of the plane. So one point form what we do here if this is the given equation of the plane then we will take another plane that should be uh, at some point like x y z that is uh, like uh, x1 a into plus b into y1 plus c into z1 plus d equal to 0 this is another plane to define one point form of the plane we consider general form as it is and through some point x1 y1 z1 the same plane passes through we will derive a define like this then I take the difference between these two it should be a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 d minus d becomes 0 that is equal to 0. So for what purpose this equation we define because more than one point uh, any statement we are going to refer in the case of uh, three dimensional geometry as a plane then first we have to fix as one point form then that plane passes through the remaining points and then we shall discuss the other conditions where the formed plane which is perpendicular, the formed plane which is parallel, the formed plane other than this perpendicular and uh, uh, parallel conditions then we, we take the reference but in all these in all those situations we must consider one point form and then we shall discuss to find out the values of ABC in order to write the standard formulation of equation of the plane. The next uh, situation three point form of the plane three point form of the plane means this is the given equation this is second uh, equation means this represents through x1 y1 and then z1 next another uh, situation I take <coughs> through x2 y2 z2 one more situation I take through x3 y3 and z3 here what I am going to define it as three point form of the plane when the plane passes through three point form of the plane means this is these two points I have given now one more point I represent this is a surface you must remember this is a plane here afterwards till the end of my discussion I will take the reference this is a plane right this is one point this is another point this is another point like that is PQR so 
when the plane this is a plane which has the general form a x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to 0 if it passes through the first point if it passes through the second point if it passes through the third point like that. So different uh, planes equations you can write accordingly then uh, to define this one three point form of the plane uh, in, in, sh in, in the uh, short form or using determinant you can write like this taking the coefficients of direction ratios that means a b c and this is a separate constant so that you can represent determinant that should be x uh, y that is x y z and then d coefficient is 1 a, a coefficient is x b coefficient is y and c coefficient is z and d coefficient is 1 so we drop those constants a b c d then we discuss only the variables and then the point in which the point in which the uh, uh, plane passes through for example the equation of this plane this is a white sheet i am holding in the space this is a plane yes its equation is this one ax ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 this is fixed then if this plane is passing through first point x1 y1 z1 this is the equation if it passes through x2 y2 z2 another equation which I am going to include directly in the determinant and one more is through the another point there is a third point x3 y3 z3 there are three points in which the plane passes through therefore x y z1 and the next one will be x1 y1 z1 again 1 then x2 y2 z2 then 1 and then x3 y3 and then z3 1 this is equal to 0. I hope you must have studied uh, matrices and uh, determinants in detail right what all you have to do is this determinant is uh, what order they should be 4 cross 4 because 4 rows and 4 columns this is the uh, uh, determinant 4 cross 4 you must know the clear difference between these two notations one is determinant and the other one is matrix where determinant we write it can be simplified where matrix we write it cannot be simplified now I am using the determinant in order to uh, simplify in order to give the final form of the formulation as three point form of the plane that should be like this should be means you are going to define or you are going to simplify the determinant which has the order of 4 cross 4 the first row is for unknowns second row is for known values third row is also for known values and fourth row is also for known values then to simplify this we start with the usual uh, procedure that is x into you have to when I, when I select this x first and this must be with plus sign when I select y this must be with minus sign when I select z this must be with plus sign and when I select the next number the next element I call it this is with minus that means alternately plus minus you have to operate when you simplify the determinant the first situation that is x into what you have to do x into yeah, uh, when, you, when you select x you have to drop this column corresponding column means first column and when you have to uh, when you are referring the value of x you have to drop the corresponding row also corresponding row means it is supposed to be the first row and corresponding column means it is supposed to be the first column if you leave that one then determinant of the remaining elements so remain this is 4 cross 4 we call it as number one number less we call it as the minor minor this is the major this is 4 cross 4 and the minor order minor order means 3 cross 3 therefore y1 you have to ignore this column uh, row and ignore the first column first row and first column remaining elements are y1 z1 1 y2 it is z2 1 and y3 it is z3 1 determinant then minus y minus y you have to ignore the second column and you have to ignore the first row therefore multiplied by x1 x2 x3 z1 z2 z3 1 1 1 plus of plus of should be 
z. So this z will be multiplied by a third column you have to ignore and first row you have to ignore the remaining elements inside the determinant x1, x2, x3 and then y1, y2 and then y3 and last column is 1, 1, 1 then minus 1 into determinant x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, z1, z2, z3 equal to 0. You can make out if you simplify uh, all these details, this determinant, if you simplify, you can easily make out what kind of equation you are getting because here it is x is multiplied, here it is y is multiplied, here it is z is multiplied and 1 is multiplied, fine. In all the three determinants inside, they are nothing but the given points x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 and x3, y3, z3. All these three uh, values, three sets of values are the points, that means they are the numericals. But parallelly, x is multiplied, y is multiplied, z is multiplied means you will be getting at the end like this equation of the plane in terms of the uh, variables x, y, z. What I want to say in this one is equation of the plane is nothing but extended form of the equation of straight line from two dimensional geometry to the three dimensional geometry. In the case of two dimensional geometry x degree 1, y degree uh, 1, y degree 1 Okay. So, first degree in x, y, z. Here first degree in x, first degree in y and first degree in z. You are getting when you simplify this step x degree 1, y degree 1, z degree 1. Therefore, you are getting after the simplification is properly completed, you will be getting an equation which is in terms of first degree of x, first degree of y and first degree of z. So, that is a three point form of the plane. And the next one condition we imply, uh, we attach when four points are given and what we, what is the condition that all the four points are lying on the same plane. For example, here I write one more point that is here x1, y1, z1 like this. This is a plane in the space, this is a plane in the space. I locate four points on the same uh, plane, same plane, then this condition, this definition, condition for four points to be coplanar. Coplanar meaning means probably you know that when all the points are lying on the same plane that is said to be coplanar, right. Uh, the determinant contains all these points, all these points will be equated to 0. That means whatever the points are given, if you substitute in that equation of the plane, they must be equated to 0. Your simplification must come to be 0 when you substitute in this equation, in this equation A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0 in this equation, the first point x 1, y 1, z 1, if you substitute in this equation should be equated to 0 and it must prove that is equal to 0 and x2, y2, z2 in this equation that is also to be simplified as 0, so also other two points. Okay. Now, what is theory behind it? What, what exactly it interprets? What exactly the meaning for example? So, this is nothing but one uh, surface, this wall, otherwise this ceiling, otherwise this blackboard itself, this is nothing but a plane you assume, right? When I look at uh, four points, here one point, here one point and here one point and somewhere another point like. So, this point is supposed to be x1, y1, z1 and this point is supposed to be x2, y2 and then z2 similarly other two points. When I write all the four points, then the plane taking all these points on uh, where those points are lying on the same plane, we call them as coplanar. that is what. Because in problems I am going to prove that how these points are giving. Uh, proving this condition means all the four points are lying on the same plane fine. Uh, that means here four points are located this one, this is one point, this is another point, this is another point, this is another point. It should not be like in another surface, in another surface some points here and some points here otherwise one point here, three points here otherwise three points here and one point here. Okay, It should not be like that. 
that means whatever the joining you make in this plane uh, joining from this point to this point or this point to this point or from this point to this point anywhere you join all these four points must lie on the same plane then we call them as coplanar that is the meaning but what is the mathematical condition for uh, uh, saying that all these four points that is x1 y z1 x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3 all these four points means they are all numericals next uh, discussion is intercept form of the plane this is uh, please concentrate on this because intercept form is a very important one you are going to use in the engineering problems also and uh, where you call it as intercept form. So you can attach the meaning that in the two dimensional situation and also in three dimensional situation in the case of uh, a two dimensional situation uh, you know that uh, intercept form of the equation of the uh, straight line and here to the plane we attach what is what exactly you mean by intercept form that is in the case of two dimensional uh, geometry that is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 this represents equation of uh, the straight line in the intercept form how this graphically we represent like this when the straight line cuts when the straight line cuts x axis at a distance a units and at b units in the, on the y axis when the straight line cuts then the intercept form is given by x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 and easily you can make out what will be the intercept form to the three dimensional situation. Three dimensional situation means ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 is the equation of the plane then obviously one more coordinate you have to attach but here we give some mathematical proof for that then in that case this is the figure which you have to propose because in that uh, slide I have not given the figure here for this discussion I have not given the figure but the figure is like this easily you can extend the idea that uh, from two dimensional to three dimensional this is one cutting this is another cutting and this is one more cutting okay if this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis on the x axis it is a units on the y axis it is b units on the z axis it is c units how comparison I can make out okay this is a surface in the uh, space this is a plane in the uh, uh, space then uh, this is only the a4 size sheet is there suppose I touch that means a larger size uh, this surface I take it touches that ceiling it touches that wall and it touches this wall that means this uh, surface is passing through all the three directions this is the shape okay so one one side it will touch those two another side it will touch these two and top one which will touch the ceiling like so this cuts all the three coordinate axis then uh, at what distance this is on the x axis whichever ceiling this wall and this wall anyone any anyone now among these three as x axis next is y axis and another one is z axis on the x axis if it is a units distance from the origin on the b on the y axis it is b units from the origin on the z axis if it is c units uh, uh, c units the length on the z axis let us consider alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z plus delta equal to 0 be the given equation of the plane where this plane is represented by this equation that means when I hold this uh, surface if it cuts uh, on the x axis y axis z axis at these distances like a units b units and c units represented by alpha alpha beta gamma then if this passes through for example this is uh, like uh, uh, p this is like q this is r now what are the points of p p means it must have x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate x coordinate a y coordinate 0 and z coordinate 0 b that is q okay q means 0 comma b comma 0 and this is r 0 c because on the x axis y value is 0 exactly on the x axis y value is 0 z value is 0 on the y axis x value is 0 and then z value is 0 
on the z axis x value is 0, y value is 0 and uh, z value is not 0. Therefore, we have 3 lengths first length is a units, second length is b units and third length is c units. Now, what I do this is the equation of the plane which is intercepted by these distances. Then if this equation passes through passes through the first point that is p a 0 0 that means x equal to a, y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. Therefore, alpha into a plus delta is equal to 0. Then what you have to calculate here that is the new symbol alpha is equal to alpha is equal to minus delta by a because this term you are sending to the right side. Similarly, through q that is 0, b and then 0 we must write that is alpha into 0 right plus b into beta plus gamma into 0 plus delta equal to 0. This implies that is beta is equal to minus delta by b. Similarly, through that is capital R it is 0 and then it is C we can I am, I am writing directly this one gamma is equal to minus delta by C. What, what you have to do now the equation which is given for representing this, uh, this much of strip I can say strip touching that ceiling touching this wall and touching this wall we, uh, that is nothing but a surface right completely this is nothing but a surface <coughs> which is intersected by these two which is intersected by these two which is intersected by the ceiling like that. Then all these values which you calculate alpha, beta, gamma you substitute here should be minus delta by a, a in place of alpha x minus delta by b y minus delta by c z plus delta equal to 0. Then this must be delta throughout is common you can cancel as a result you can get it as uh, minus x by a minus y by b minus z by c. If you shift this last term to the right side that is minus 1. Then cancelling minus sign everywhere then you can get it as x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 is the required form of the intercept intercept form of the plane okay intercept form of the plane. This is a plane cutting all the three directions it has intercept form in this in this type x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to uh, that is plus 1. This is uh, 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 this may be compared with the two dimensional case also. Now we have another form normal form of the plane right when the plane when the plane has the projection and normal is given by p then normal form of the plane normal form of the plane including p p as a normal then lx plus my plus nz is equal to p this is normal form of the plane actually normal form of the straight line in the previous uh, that is two dimensional case what exactly you have studied is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p this is the equation already familiar to you x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p is the normal form of the a straight line and here one more uh, we represent x cos alpha plus y sin alpha y sin alpha and uh, uh, y sin beta in, in fact uh, uh, direction cosine anyway this is for two dimensional so that uh, lx plus my plus nz is equal to p or or x cos alpha plus y sin beta plus z uh, uh, z cos beta plus y, y cos beta plus z cos gamma is equal to p. This is the normal form in the three dimensional case, but this one the graph will be the same straight line the same straight line this is uh, a normal 
from the line which is intersected x axis and y axis this makes the angle as alpha this one then this is to be taken as perpendicular length this p stands for the perpendicular length this is x axis and this is y axis and then this one therefore either this will be represented in terms of a units it is b units x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 or this one normal form but the same ideology is extended in the three dimensional case as x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 and its corresponding normal form is given by in terms of direction cosines. So that is normal form of the plane. Uh, but uh, the condition is if the equation of the plane will be normal if the condition is coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square plus coefficient of z square is equal to 1. So whatever numericals in place of a, b, c are given uh, like uh, sum of the squares of those uh, numbers is equal to 0. Next situation another two last definitions let me define plane through the intersection of another plane yes. Uh, we have we are given two planes one plane is defined by a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 equal to 0 another plane a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equal to 0 what you are going to collect the meaning from this definition plane through the intersection of two planes yes this is one plane this is one plane in the space and another plane these are the two planes given to you okay now you carefully observe what i am going to do this plane i am allowing this plane to pass through this plane right otherwise this plane i am allowing to pass through this plane we call this uh, happening as intersection right either this is the plane one this is the plane I am allowing this plane to pass through in this one otherwise I am allowing this plane to pass through in the uh, next uh, second plane okay. The situation is intersection between two planes but mathematically we represent uh, like this intersection the plane through the intersection between these two planes is nothing but nothing but plus of k into second equation that is a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 z plus d 2 z equal to 0 this is the intersection equation of the plane through the intersection of two planes. So if you simplify this then what you have to calculate is what is the value of k that is all some point will be given and you have to take the first equation as it is plus some constant into second equation is equal to 0 is equal to 0 then all that you have to do is apply the given point and find the value of k substitute back and you will get the equation in terms of ax plus by plus uh, cz plus d equal to 0. In fact uh, the values are here uh, to be interchanged these suffixes a into x1 it is printed actually it should have been a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 like that another equation also I will make the corrections after the class <coughs> then the angle between two planes fine next definition is angle between two planes so angle between two planes means for example this is one plane and this is another plane right in the space I am holding the planes these two planes like this okay then one plane taking the intersection or passing through in another plane then the line which is formed in the inter intersection nothing but and the angle in between those two planes will be given by will be given by same equation what you studied what we what we have written in the first chapter the same equation cos theta is equal to plus minus that should be product of the direction ratios in the numerator and in the denominator sum of the squares of uh, these direction ratios of the first equation and also the second equation because angle between two uh, planes first plane is the first equation this one and second plane is this one when the two planes are intersecting then the angle between those two and if it is uh, the in, uh, angle between those two planes if it is like uh, uh, 90 degree then obviously cos 90 is equal to 0 then 
the result can be interpreted as sum of the product of the direction ratios is always 0 that is enough that is a1 a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0. If it is other than uh, uh, 90 degree other than 90 degree then the actual values are to be calculated <coughs> and next one in uh, when we discussed about uh, perpendicular these two planes perpendicular and also the angle between two planes. Now the opposite situation opposite situation means when this this is one plane this is another plane these two planes are parallel. So in a moving in this direction anyway these two planes are parallel what is the mathematical condition. So in that one means you must have the same equation when the two uh, planes are parallel two planes are parallel. So one plane this one a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 z plus d uh, d1 is equal to 0. If it is or even in terms of a x for example without these symbols if you represent simple equation a x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to 0 that plane uh, is uh, that plane is parallel to another plane means what should be the uh, coefficients of x y z. So this is one plane and this is another plane therefore they must have the same equation same equation but they must differ in the constant then a x plus b y plus c z plus k equal to 0. You have to discuss about the value of d given and value of k which is to be calculated at the point whatever it is given in the statement. So these are the few definitions then the perpendicular distance is uh, of course equation divided by plus minus that is sum of the squares of the uh, direction ratios. So this is uh, uh, these are the few definitions and also the bisectors of the equations bisectors of the angles between two planes that is nothing but perpendicular distances are to be compared the first equation a x a a a a a a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 z plus d 1 divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square is equal to plus minus uh, a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 z plus d 2 divided by plus minus square root of a square plus a 1 square plus b 1 square plus c 1 square it should have been like this that one. Now the volume of tetrahedron already we discussed in the previous chapter it should be multiplied by 1 by 6 that is the formula to be derived. Now I shall uh, start with uh, solving some problems to prove all these theoretical concepts. Let me remind you what so far we discussed in the case of uh, uh, plane and the related definitions here. So we started today uh, with the basic definition a plane is a surface uh, such that any two points on that plane will have the combination as a straight line that should completely lie on the surface. So that is nothing but plane then, then general form of the plane is equation of the plane is ax plus bo plus cz plus d equal to 0 then one point form we discussed then three point form we discussed condition for four points to be coplanar and next is intercept form of the plane having intercepts a b c intercepts a b c are nothing but distance on x axis for a units and distance for y axis on the y axis as b units and distance for z axis as c units then the uh, final equation should be x by a x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 it is similar to two dimensional case had you studied two dimensional uh, geometry properly all those concepts are uh, analogous what I can say the extension of the uh, meanings extension of the terminologies which you are going to include in three dimensional situation right. Then plane through the intersection of the two planes uh, that is um, plus some constant between those two equations you, uh, this you can write like uh, lambda which is multiplied to the second one that can also be written lambda into first equation plus this equation is equal to 0. So both will give the same meaning then angle between two planes is nothing but the same formula which we write angle between two straight lines in the previous chapter already we discussed uh, in detail about that one. Then perpendicular distance uh, from the point of the plane is ax plus by plus z plus d equal to 0 and whatever we discussed in two dimensional case this is the same equation that is pxyz is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d. Uh, uh, that is divided by a square plus b square plus c square otherwise if you interchange for example here 
like a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 z plus d 1 divided by plus minus square root of a 1 square plus b 1 square plus c 1 square. Notation do not make any difference, but the equation which you have to remember the equation divided by square root of sum of the squares of the coefficients that is all coefficients of x y z. So, that should be there and equations the bisectors angle uh, bisectors of the angles between two planes are nothing but you you will get two equations bisectors means actually when we have when these two when these two surfaces are intersecting again in that at that point of intersection we write one more plane to pass through and one more plane to pass through they are nothing but so these two uh, uh, a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 z plus d 1 divided by this much is equal to plus minus we take okay choosing plus sign and then simplifying you will get one equation choosing next case as minus sign this one uh, out of plus minus you will get one more equation therefore they are nothing but equations of the bisectors of the angles between two planes what this angle right in this in this angle if the bisect okay or in this angle or in this angle okay so they must intersect they must intersect they should not be like uh, overlapping one plane on the other plane like they must intersect means uh, inserting one plane in, into the another one passing through second one is passing through the first one or vice versa first one is passing through the second one there is an angle formation in that angle formation one or two more planes be in uh, uh, allowed to allowed to move then those equations are nothing but nothing but uh, uh, these equations having plus sign one equation and having minus sign simplification will give another equation. Then all well, you know the tetrahedron already figure I had drawn in the previous class that means in the previous lectures I have uh, already derived about, about those things. Now we shall take the first problem find the equation of the plane find the equation of the plane which passes through the points passes through the points 0 1 1 uh, that is 1 1 2 and minus 1 and minus 2 check they are coplanar right ok. What we do here one point form first we represent by taking x y z these are the values then we allow that equation to pass through the first uh, second point and third point you will get two equations in terms of a b c then by the cross multiplication method you have to find out the values of a b c uh, as, as uh, that is a divided by x divided by determinant is equal to y divided by determinant is equal to z divided by determinant. So, by that you will get the coefficients like this then the equation of the plane simplified x minus 2 y minus z plus 3 is equal to 0. So, in the next class uh, the all these problems I will cover with uh, another uh, topic as a straight line and till today this, uh, this is the complete uh, coverage of uh, uh, theoretical discussion and formulation of the plane and the related uh, properties. Thank you any uh, queries are there or any questions are there in this topic so that uh, in the next class problems I, I am going to discuss any clarification or any queries uh, regarding these formulations you are free to ask thank you.